Some of us will leave Nigeria if someone re becomes president. Abdul Salami Abubakar, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. A former head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, retired, has jokingly said that he and some of his contemporaries will flee Nigeria in the event if Omayele Sonwari presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, becomes president of a country. Politics Nigeria reports that during the National Peace Committee NPC meeting with the NPC meeting under the leadership of General Abdul Abubakar on Friday in Abuja, the AAC candidate was asked by the former Nigerian leader to reconcile with the Action Alliance AA candidates, Major Hamza Mustafa. However, someone said that his disagreement was political, adding that I have issues with all the military people that annulled the June 12, 1993 elections, including him, General Abubakar. Replying the elder statesman, Replying, the other statesman said, Sonwari, you're talking about 20 years ago. By the time you become the president of this country, I think some of us will leave this country. I think quite honestly, let bygones be bygones. What has happened has happened. Let us go on with what is in front of us. Well, uh, this is the first time I'm even hearing um, 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 Abdul Salami, General should I say retired General Abdul Salam is coming out to talk about a presidential candidate that is not the major opposition. <laughs> I'm actually kind of, should I say, I'm actually kind of uh, uh, finding it, 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 it's strange to me. Okay, everyone knows the truth and I myself know after P2B, Soru enter and finish the job so that Nigeria will be what it's supposed to be. Hmm. Okay, which P2B are you talking about? I hope you don't mean P to be the liar, the unrepentant, deceitful. I am saying these things. I am not skipping. I am reading these things so that people see how, you know, horrible some of the comments are. Deceitful, tested and failed politician who succeeded grooming terrorists in Anambra State and turned the state to terrorist state today. Obila left a very bad legacy in Anambra State. I was on the state just last week and first sorry for the citizens of the state. P2B liar is a great failure who doesn't even deserve to be a local government council chairman in any state again, not to talk of the state governor based on his performance as a state governor. Whoever has visited Anambra State, whoever that have visited Anambra, the state that is like governed for a good eight years and wish Nigeria well will never pray for the country to have someone like P2B, as the, the whole of the Southeast and the state is the headquarters of the criminals. Now, let me say this. You can actually make or state your opinions or give your opinions without having to sound this uncivilized. This person you are even calling or talking about, he does not know you exist. I say, make I tell you now. Some of those politicians, some of them you are rooting for. I don't know the one you are supporting, but some of them you are rooting for, they do not know you exist. And I've said it before, whether you like it or not, your comments, even if some, something prompted you to come out and become uncivilized in what you speak, it is your comment. I've said it before, in different places, at different times, and at different points, we have had people who have met themselves in comments. Such, I'm telling you, in commenting on posts, on the same post, and before you know it, it's okay. And before you know it, it's not that to be, that person may be your your what's it called your helper so the person may be somebody to help you we have i've used this scenario and we have even seen it played out a certain person commented on i think zenith bank um what's it called twitter you know twitter post on about two years ago and just last year late last year the person went for an interview in zenith bank and they brought out the post and showed him that look at what you do and that was how we lost that particular uh, job opportunity though we did not know if maybe with or without it, would have gotten the job. But these things do matter. So this, um, I've said it before, let us be very civilized in opinion. Hmm? No matter where we are coming from, be civilized. Then about what you said, this is me coming out to say, I read it so that we are going to see how bad it can sound. 
Okay, maybe the person that wrote it might not see as in if you're writing it, maybe from your angle, it might feel <coughs> you are just the right this thing. Maybe you're going to be saying you're just, you know, I just they write this thing, you know, I just, I'm just giving my own opinion. But maybe when you listen to it, you're going to now find out that um, what you wrote is actually, you know, bad. Now, Peter B is not the present governor of Anambra State. Peter B wrote Anambra, I think, uh, what's it called? He wrote Anambra State, not now, not even eight years ago. The person who was a former governor was Willow Biano. And after ruling, you know, then this person came in. You will cannot use the state of Anambra's, uh, what's it called, security, the way Anambra state is secure or insecure, to judge people. Be no, 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 it's not possible. I said I had a friend. I had a friend who came out and said, you know, that time, we were not even talking politics. This was years back. The person told me that, ah, that's one more. Anambra state is now free. Is now free that, in fact, if you have money and you get to nature, eh? You can raise up your money and say that you have money. You can even use it to do shakara and say you have money and nothing will happen. You go home, nothing, nothing. And it is also said that if this Evans, Evans the kidnapper said, it was during Peter B's tenure in Nanambra State that he had to run. Carry and carry and say that place would be too hot for him. You understand? So before you come out and say things, don't just say things because... You know, and I don't know where we get the notion... Of the marketing another presidential candidate. We think we can market our own. It doesn't happen that way. In fact, it is when you come out to start mentioning the name of that particular candidate. There is no way about it. You are marketing the candidate whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay. Peter Bikanga one will soon stand to downvote you. You would even insult your father like never before. If you check my page, I have received 183 insults so far and still counting. But if they think I can be intimidated through their childish behavior, sorry. They have missed godly heaven. Are you really serious? <laughs> somewhere is far somewhere is far better than the Jaga Tiku and at okay and than Jaga Jaga <laughs> and Atiku. Vote obedient. Okay. Yes, after Obi tenure, we are heading for Sorry's tenure after Inokana's regime. Okay. Okay, I love Sorry. I felt disappointed that one of the intellectuals in Yoruba land, the only person they want to support. For presidency is Bola Tunambu. Between Tunambu and Sonri, who is even better? That is why we are where we are today. All right, Nigerians, so making a no vote based on ethnicity. If you are still voting based on ethnicity or nepotism or favoritism, we still have a long way to go. Our journey is still far. It is until we tell ourselves the truth. I've said it before. We keep our differences aside and resolve to vote for a better Nigeria, a Nigeria that is going to be better for all. Then we can start, you know, voting in the right way. That is where we can start seeing, you know, ourselves as maybe, resulting ourselves maybe as Nigerians. They say what is enough for the wise. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your